In this video, I'm going to look at um, t-tests and Stata simple t-tests. In order to do that, we're going to use a built-in data set that exists within Stata. What you want to do is go File, Example Data Sets. You should have this window um, here pop up. And then I'm going to click on this, Example Data Sets installed with Stata. And the one we're going to use is BP White. Click on the Use button. What you should see here is this command, sysuse bpy.data, and you see the variable names there. Let's browse so we can see what the data looks like. What we see is the patient, that's just um, ID numbers down here. Okay, whoops. What we're going to find is one reading for each person. Some are male, some are female. We're going to see age groups. We're going to see a blood pressure before and a blood pressure after, assuming I assume there's some kind of a uh, treatment in between the two. What we want to look at here is we want to see, um, we could ask a variety of questions um, using t-tests, but let's just see if the um, before um, blood pressure the initial blood pressure varies by gender. We've got the two the two groups. Okay, so to do a t test, we use the command t test. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to put the the y variable first. That's always the format in in um, stated to put the y variable first. I can click on it if I don't want to have to type it in. Okay, and I'm going to put in um, to do this comma and then by um, sex, the name of the variable. So this is a format for basic t-test where what you're trying to do is you're going to look at some y variable, compare it by groups that exist within the data set, which is the most common thing you would do, and hit enter. And here we get the results. So what you see here is male, female, number of observations, the mean, standard error, standard deviation, confidence intervals on those you see combine the overall mean for the groups, okay? See the mean and the differences, confidence interval and the differences. So you can see here that the differences, um, the confidence interval and the differences does not include zero. There, there is 95% confident that the, that the difference in blood pressures is in this range, so we're pretty confident there's the difference in the groups. But the actual t-test is here down below. T statistic degrees of freedom. What you'll see is three different results. P value, P value, P value here in the bottom. Those P values are the P values that reflect whether your alternative hypothesis um, is one direction or the other or it's a not equals. This one in the middle, it represents um, we were just doing a t-test where our null hypothesis was male and female blood pressures were the same. The alternative was simply that they were different. We didn't, our alternative was not um, that males were higher than females or vice versa. It was just that they were different. If that's the case, then our p-value right here is 0 0.0062. So we do find statistical significance. If we started off with the, the alternative hypothesis that um, the males would be higher than the females, in other words, the difference is positive, then we would use um, this p-value over here, which you notice is half the size of this one, which is as it should be. This is if we, if we wanted to do the other way around. Our, our original alternative was the females were higher than the males. You could see in that case it wouldn't be statistically significant because we found even the completely opposite result. So that's a basic t-test. What I'm doing is comparing groups where I have one column that has all the, the dependent variable, all the results for both groups, and another variable that is the grouping variable. Basic t-test. The, the second type of t-test that you might do okay, um, is comparing this variable here to this variable, okay? It's typically done with, with paired data where I want to see whether the, the befores are different from the afters, okay? So I'm comparing two separate columns of, of data to each other and they're paired up. This is assuming that they're paired, okay? 
And in that case, it's simple a matter of typing t test, and then I type the first variable. I'm going to put an equals here, and the second variable. So I'm testing to see whether the first one equals the second one. Um, actually, I'm going to put double equals there. Um, in Stata, like in many softwares, a double equals is a logical equals. It's saying, does it equal? As opposed to force this to equal something else or assign this value to something, it's asking, does it equal that? And I hit enter, and um, you can see it says paired t-test here. It assumes this is paired. Now, for some reason, it wasn't paired. I just happened to have two columns of data that were independent samples. Then I would put a comma unpaired in my command, and it would and it would be able to do that. Now, um, same same idea here. We've got the all the means. We've got the difference. We've got confidence interval on the difference. Here's our test certificate. Um, here's our test statistic and our degrees of freedom. And then we have. Um, p-values for the various um, alternative hypotheses. If it was just our, our um, alternative going into it was just that they were different from each other without any um, pre-existing hypothesis that it would be one that would be higher or lower, then this would be our p-value. If, if we had a hypothesis that we had a positive difference, meaning the before greater than the after, then we would use this p-value here. So that's our basic um, paired t-test um, here. Um, it's also um, possible, let's go back to our first t-test we did here. Okay, we have this one right here. Maybe we uh, um, start off believing that the variances of the two groups, the males and females, might be quite different. If that's the case, then we need to tell um, the software to allow the two variances to be equal to estimate a little difference and I'm going to put just type in unequal here. By default it assumes that the variance of the males and female groups, the variance in blood pressure is equal or approximately equal. Okay so if I do that way it does just a little more conservative um, test because it assumes that they're unequal. So you have so you have that option here.